Yes, absolutely. And we're seeing some of that smoke come across the state, but it is going to lighten up as we go into Saturday. So that is some good news, but we are going to be seeing some very hot temperatures, which is why we're going to have a weather impact alert. 90s are what we're looking at for much of next week. Those heat indices are exceeding 100 degrees, so it is going to be very hot and very humid. So when exactly is the bulk of this happening? Well, we are looking at Monday through Thursday. That is when we are going to be seeing some really high heat and humidity across the state. So what do you need to do? Avoid getting dehydrated and having a heat stroke and ways to avoid that. Drink lots of water and limit your time outside because this heat and humidity is going to be very intense. You need to have ways to cool down and don't overexert yourself. Now taking a look at some of those temperatures Monday through Thursday, you see that we are in those mid 90s. Those heat indices are exceeding 100 degrees and Wednesday still looks like it is going to be the worst day with this heat wave. It's looking like it's going to be the hottest and most humid day out of all of them. So that is not going to be a very pleasant day. Now, as we look outside right now, you can see that there are a few showers way down in southern Iowa, but for the most part, we are staying dry and we are going to be seeing that trend until we get into Sunday. That is when we are going to have a bigger chance to see some rain across the state. Right now it is a little bit hazy. Some of us may be seeing some patchy fog across the state, but it is 72 degrees outside bit of a warmer start. We have those 60s and 70s across majority of the state right now, but we are going to be warming up to 89 degrees, really close to 90. It will be a bit breezy as we start uh, today, but things will get a little bit better as we go into tonight. We're looking at only 70 degrees for your low, so it is going to be a bit of a warm night. We're going to be seeing that trend for a little bit as well. So you can see those 90s return Saturday and Sunday. Then the local five weather impact alert days happen starting on Monday, going all the way through Thursday, but things to take note of. We have chances to see some storms Sunday and Monday, and that's what's helping uh, cause this heat to die down just a little. It's not going to be as intense as we were looking at. And then after we get past Thursday, things slightly get better. We do cool down out of the 90s, but we still keep the upper 80s as we go into that following weekend. But for the most part, prepare for some pretty intense heat going into next week.